Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the radio on a 2007 C-Max, Ford C-Max, and you're going to need the correct release keys. The release keys look like this, and go in this way on, so the bevel on the inside. Put all four keys in and you'll find resistance, they'll be on like a spring, so when you push them in they'll spring back a little bit. Grab each side or put a bar through them and pull them apart, so just spread them, yeah? Put a bar through each one or a screwdriver through each one and just pull them apart. You should feel resistance on both sides evenly and at the same time pull forward. So apart and forwards and your stereo will come loose. After you've done that, remove your keys and you will notice you've got an aerial connector and a quad lock power and uh, speaker connector. Now to fit a new radio in this car, you're gonna need some accessories. You're gonna need a wiring harness adapter. This one's made by Autoleads and it's PC2844. An aerial adapter, PC527H. And if you're fitting a single DIN radio, you will need this fascia, FP0709. If you're fitting a double DIN, which is what I'm fitting in this particular vehicle, you're gonna have to cut the little plastic bar out the middle so you've got a bigger gap to fit the larger radio. So go ahead and remove these connectors. This one just pulls out and this one's got a squeezy tab underneath and you just hook it round. Like so. So literally when that's in the back of your radio, you've got this thing here, this lever. You push down, there's a little pinch pin at the back here. Yeah, and you just basically move it round and up and out and then it pulls clean out of the stereo. Put your old stereo to one side because you never know if you sell the car in the future you may actually need to keep it and put it back in again if you don't want to get rid of your other stereo. Now the radio I've fitted to this particular car is an app radio and we've also got the Google Play mirror kit which will actually display the mapping from your phone on the display of the stereo. Now on this, this is the equivalent for Android of the Apple Mirror Link, okay? Now, what that means is, like I was just saying, you can display your mapping data on the display screen of the stereo and use it as an app from your phone. Now, this kit comes with various cables. You've got um, a normal little USB cable there. You've got a HDMI link cable. You've got your little box there you plug everything into. Also, a HDMI extension. USB extension and a normal USB micro connector. All of these plug into the rear of the stereo and have to be fed to some nice convenient location such as the glove box. I'll now go ahead and start installing the radio and update you when I've made a bit of progress on that. Okay, so quick update. We've fitted our plastic fascia in, which is just a push fit snap connector. Once you've put that in there and it's rigid, you can saw the middle bar out, the plastic bar that went across if you're using a double din radio like this. Uh, we've threaded all our cables through. Like I say, on this particular one, there is loads of them because it's the full on app radio. Yeah, so we've threaded them all down here. They're all terminating the glove box just there, look. And you've got a microphone up by the mirror of the car. Once you've done that, tape them all together so they're not loose and going to get caught by your radio. Plug them all in the rear of the radio and carefully push everything to the back so you've got space for it. You don't want anything jamming or getting trapped or anything like that. Push your radio in, but don't push it all the way in, like so. So with everything plugged in, we've got two HDMIs here, we've got the GPS antenna, we've got our HDMI link plugged in there, microphone, power cable, and we're just about to plug the aerial in. You can now safely go and slide that into the cavity. And there we go, slid in, so that it's not all the way home, yeah, you don't want it clicked in and locked in. Go ahead and pop your ignition on, like so, and with a bit of luck, your radio will light up just like this, showing you that it's fully working. Once you've stored a radio station in there and preset it, just turn your ignition off again and make sure when you've took the key out, when you put it back in again, that the radio station is fully, fully stored. Once you've done that, if your radio station's stored, you can click your radio in, just shove it and it'll lock yeah, into the dashboard. And that literally is everything you need to do. Now, if you've got any questions regarding this car or any other car, it can be anything from, I don't know, a Ford Fiesta to a Lamborghini, just drop me a comment below and I'll try and answer you the same day all going well. Just remember, if you've got any doubts at all, consult a professional, pay to have it fitted. They are insured if they break your car, you are not. And obviously personal injury can come into it. 
So before tackling anything like this, just make absolutely sure you're confident enough to do it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.